Welcome to our Flutter tutorial on using the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out of a Flutter desktop application and web application. Our previous video only had the buttons working to zoom in and out. Because we're using a 360 image, we're using the Flutter panorama package. Although once you extract the mouse scroll wheel values, you can apply it to any type of image. At the starting point, you should have two methods for zoom in and zoom out that you want to handle whatever the action is you want to take. So in my case, I'm zooming in and zooming out of a panorama viewer for a 360 image. We first need to wrap the widget that we want to have the control of the mouse scroll wheel over within a listener. Listener is part of Flutter. So that panorama viewer is just the portion that I want to look for a signal. So on the pointer signal, and then you have to, we're going to run a callback on that event. So we're going to check to see if the event is the squir the scroll wheel. And um, I'm using the extension so it automatically comes up. The name of it is pointer scroll event. So once since I have the listener, I'm looking for that pointer signal and then I'm checking to see if the event is the event that I want, which is a scroll wheel movement. The, um, all we need to do now is extract the value of the delta of the scroll pointer scroll event. So the, it's actually dy and not y. So the event has a scroll delta, and then we just extract the dy from it. We just look to see whether it's positive or negative, and then take the action that we want to take. So we're going to move the... Uh, zoom in or zoom out based on whether it's just positive or negative. So pretty simple. So if the delta is a negative value, we're going to zoom in. And let's test it out here. Make sure that the 360 image is still working. And the scroll wheel works. Beautiful. We now have two different ways to perform the scroll, either with the plus and minus buttons or with the, the scroll wheel. We only have the zoom in working. So let's just copy it and see if uh, we can make the zoom out work. And this technique is pretty simple. The main point is that you just have to realize that you need to wrap the thing that you want to track the mouse in within the listener and the various names of the properties, the pointer scroll event and the scroll delta dot dy. And once you got that, you can do whatever you want with the values from the scroll wheel. And it does get more complex if you have multiple widgets that have different scrolling or that uh, have different scroll wheel behavior associated with it. This one just has a single widget here to control the scroll in and the scroll out. So we're not scrolling the entire window on this one. Sometimes when you have the 360 images, you do want to start the, the, the panning of it automatically, for example, on a web page just so that the person viewing the web page knows that it's a 360 image and that they can interact with it. Otherwise, they may go to the site and not realize it. So this also works on desktop. On mobile, you have pinch to zoom, right? So this technique is only needed on web and desktop, and it does work great on the desktop. Oh, have a great day.